microcontroller can be termed as a single on-chip computer which includes number of peripherals like RAM, EPROM, timers etc., required to perform some predefined task. There are a number of popular families of microcontrollers which are used in different applications as per their capability and feasibility to perform the desired task, most common of these are 8051, AVR and PIC microcontrollers. We will introduce with AVR family of microcontrollers. At NIL AVR microcontrollers target low power environments for the automotive industry, industrial, wireless, and commercial systems including motor control and lighting, medical and personal health care, wireless solutions, sensors and networks, PC and USB peripherals, building automation, as well as battery management, battery operated and portable appliances. AVR microcontrollers are available in three categories. Tiny AVR. Less memory, small size, suitable only for simpler applications. Mega AVR. These are the most popular ones having good amount of memory, up to 256 kilobytes, higher number of inbuilt peripherals and suitable for moderate to complex applications. Zmega AVR. Used commercially for complex applications, which require large program memory and high speed. We will explore the most popular AVR at Mega32. A microcontroller programmer is a hardware device accompanied with software which is used to transfer the machine language code to the microcontroller at ROM from the PC. The compiler converts the code written in languages like assembly, C, Java etc. to machine language code and stores it in a hex file. A microcontroller programmer acts as an interface between the PC and the target controller. The API software of the programmer reads data from the hex file stored on the PC and feeds it into the controller's memory. The software transfers the data from the PC to the hardware using serial, parallel or USB port. The microcontroller, at Mega32 is programmed using the pins meant for SPI communication. Serial peripheral interface is a synchronous, full duplex protocol. SPI is also known as three-wire interface protocol because it needs three communication lines named MISO, MOSI and SCK. SPI protocol needs two devices for communication. One of them is considered as a master and another one as a slave. Okay. Now it's time proceed to produce of the programmer. First step. To make a printed circuit board. You can make your own circuit board at home using toner transfer method. In this video show how you can do it. Also you can use the services of Produce Circuit Board. Use a circuit board designing software to convert the circuit schematic diagram into PCB layout. To make the printout of mirror image of the PCB layout, print should be taken on glossy paper or photo paper using the laser printer. Cut copper clad board in required size, according to our PCB layout design. Put copper board upon the printed layout, with copper side down towards the printed layout.
tightly to press the hot iron for some time. Heating the paper will transfer the ink to the copper board. If paper gets stuck to the plate, use warm water to remove the paper properly. Our circuit layout under the black ink. Remove all the other copper except the black lines using etching solution on base hydrogen peroxide. Use fine sandpaper to remove the black ink.
drill the holes according to the components placement. solder components and wires on this printed circuit board. At now making of programmer for AVR microcontrollers with SPI support is completed. To burning program to the memory of the microcontroller need connect the wires of the programmer to the pins of the microcontroller according to the pinout diagram in the microcontroller datasheet. Then connect the programmer to the serial port of the computer and connect the USB power plug. Use the compiler to generate from the program of the microcontroller the hex file which contains the machine language instruction understandable by a microcontroller. The programmer transfer content of this hex file to the memory of the microcontroller. Once a program is transferred or written into the memory of the microcontroller, it then works in accordance with the program. Circuit schematic diagram of programmer and PCB layout available to the links in description of this video. In the next videos we'll continue studying of the microcontrollers, electronic technology and electronic projects.
In the next video we will try to create a simple program for the microcontroller. In accordance with the program the microcontroller will control flashing of the LED. We will try using the programmer which we assembled to configure fuse bits of the microcontroller and burning the program into the memory of the AVR Atmega 32 microcontroller. More videos coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel not to miss anything. Thank you for watching. See you next time.